आपको भी कुछ सीखना है कि नहीं लक्ष्यधार भाषण से कुछ होगा नहीं आपसे मैंने पूछा क्या था एंटीसिपेशन में रिपीटेशन मेंटेनेबल है कि नहीं मिस्टर क्या पढ़ते हो क्या सुनते हो क्या क्वेश्चन होता है Lordship, but if it is rejected, you you make a conclude your argument. Lordship, this email was given to me by the bank when they in post facto verify my loan. And then where is the seal that it is being given under the RTI? One chaprasi se jaake wahan se nikalwa lenge chori se to kya usko ab legal karenge? Yeah, yeah. Main paunga kya apko? No, Lordship. Why should I teach you? No, Lordship. Certainly not. Why but, should I teach you? But Lordship, the plight of the petitioner. What about the plight of the petitioner? Maybe first of all, the lawyer is responsible for improper filing of the petition. Lordship, for the second time, you UK Embassy is not responsible, as clear from the rejection letter. आपको वकालत करनी है, जज नहीं बनना है. Lordship, it is right? there in the reject second rejection you letter. Saying... You too early. You are becoming becoming a judge. Lordship, may I kindly consider this one? This is not actually a case of simpliciter anticipation. I'll please allow me two minutes to make a case uh, in the peculiar facts and circumstances. I have understood your case. You had taken certain loan according to you, educational loan. When you filed an application for visa, this fact was not uh, uh, confirmed by confirmed by or it was not replied by the bank. Therefore. Your application for visa was rejected on the ground that there is an attempt to decept. Thereafter, now you have also filed another application or review application. Now you are anticipating that the matter will be sent back to the Union Bank of India for verification, and they may not send. Lordship, that is. Is there anything to add? Yes, Lordship. What is that? Lordship, may kindly see the second rejection letter, which is on page number. That's fine. Wow, what you are apprehending now, Lordship? If if the bank does not verify the loan letter, that's why is it is it in, uh, in anticipation? Lord, Lordship, kindly permit me two minutes. If Lordship the bank. Come on, बर्बाद करना करिए सर. Lordship, if the bank does not verify for the second time also, like they have not done it for the first and the second time. Whether Lord, they have only sent a letter to the bank. Uh, Lordship, the issue is that if whether they have already sent a letter to to the bank. Lordship, the petitioner is not privy to that con uh, communication because fine, the fine, fine. Uh, is the verification is done in secret from the petitioner. Fine, fine, sir. Lordship, the issue Why is. Why do you move an application for review of the grant of visa for the second time? Uh, Lordship, I uh, we applied for the second review on thirteenth May, twenty twenty four. All right, sir. Have you received any communication from the embassy so far? Lordship, we will not get any communication for them from the. Are you in the rejection order? Lordship, for the second rejection, Lordship, if if Lordship, just may consider one situation. Lordship, if it is again, if another prompt is made to the bank and the bank does not verify in time, then the only remedy left with me will be to claim damages from the bank for the deficiency. But Lordship, what about the fact that the petitioner is getting banned? For ten years for applying visa in the UK, and that ban will have a cascading effect on his life. And lordship, there is there is no amount of damages will be which will be sufficient, or there will be no consumer case which will grant a uh, adequate amount of damages which will be sufficient to cover up for this mistake, lordship. Lordship, if 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 it is again rejected, suppose it is again rejected, lordship. So at the first instance also we did not approach this court because we were also in agreement that the bank will perform its duty the second time. But when they have not done it for the second time is when we have knocked the doors of this court lordship. If it is rejected lordship the second time, then the there will be nothing left with the petitioner except to claim damages lordship. And lordship that will effectively lead to a ban for ten years for seeking visa from a country like UK, and that itself has a cascading effect on his any future visa application to any other country lordship. Lordship, kindly consider this is not a simpliciter case of anticipation. May please see the the reasons of rejections. आपको भी कुछ सीखना है कि नहीं? लक्ष्यधार भाषण से कुछ होगा नहीं? आपसे मैंने पूछा क्या था? Anticipation में repetition maintainable है कि नहीं? Lordship, there is a case law which I have found in which it is uh, it says that where state or its intermediary in contractual matter act against public good interest unjustly, unfairly, unreasonably, and arbitrarily. This is an exception for which the repetition is maintainable, Lordship. Mister, क्या पढ़ते हो, क्या सुनते हो, क्या question होता है? Lordship, but if it is rejected, you do not conclude your arguments. You, I, I have heard you about the cascading effect. Now, first application was rejected. Your second attempt is pending with the UK. Lordship, two attempts have failed. 
two attempts have better Wait. this is the third one yes lord ship right first being the original application second being the first review this is the second review second review and lord ship the reason for rejection is simply that the bank does not respond in time which is that uh, order chip rather than this may kindly see the uh, the the emails are yaar whatever documents you are referring i am looking at it if you don't want that i should look into a particular document and don't refer to that document lordship lordship then may kindly please see uh, annexure p8 page number 76 how can you say that the rejection is on account of non communication by the unit bank of india lordship may kindly see page number 76 of annexure p8 please come to page 50 lordship there is please come to page 50 this is the first rejection which you have pointed out on your own yes lordship so don't try to run away from your documents no lordship uh, yes lordship. yes please come to page 50 Lordship, it says that on 18/7/2023, you provided a loan letter from Union Bank of India. After official verification inquiries, these documents have been proven to be false. Where it has been, where it has been uh, mentioned that in absence of any communication or verification report from the Union Bank of India, your application is being rejected. On the contrary, it is it is an affirmative words that after verifi official verification inquiries, the document has been proven to be a falsified or altered. Lordship, may kindly see page number fifty-seven of my petition. Now, now let us come to page fifty-seven. Yes, that is a part of an exception. That is part of an exception. P six, Lordship. P six. J sir. Lordship, it is said that checks conducted with Union Bank on loan letters. This is the second. This is the first. No, Lordship, this is the for the first rejection. Uh mm huh. -hmm. The explanation for the first rejection. Uh mm huh. -hmm. It says. On via telephone call. In reply, the information is redacted. Branch Gopal on the basis of PAN number stated that the account belongs to Sri Rampur branch, which is not related to the petitioner at all. Sri Rampur branch is in Maharashtra, Lordship. So it was a mistake by the uh, UK MSC, Lordship. Even even if that is the case, may kindly see the second rejection, Lordship. Please, Lordship, may kindly don't, see the second rejection. So I am calm and listening, right? Don't don't try to take a kangaroo kung jump, Lordship. If it was a mistake by the UK embassy, why you have not implicated it as a party? Instead of sending the query to the correct bank or branch, if they send it to the wrong branch, whether the Union Bank is responsible? Lordship, that is the second attempt where they. Whatever it is, you are referring. I am. I am responding to the documents which you are referring. Lordship, they made a first attempt with the correct branch. That is also on record. Fine. Next year, P five. P five. Page number fifty two. Fine. Fine. And that they did not respond. After which they contacted the wrong branch, Lordship. Fine, fine. Lordship, may see that email uh, on page number fifty-two, mm. dated seventh August, twenty Referring to page number, uh, page number fifty-two. Yes, sir. Lordship, this is the email which they sent to the right branch. Ah, but you are saying that you have no access to the internal communications they have, which are. Lordship, this this communication was given to me by the respondent itself. Lordship. Yes, 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 yes. Lordship, all you are saying. You have said. Yes, sir. 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 Now you are saying that this printout was given to you by the respondent. So whether it is under the RTI or it was illegally obtained? No, Lordship, it was legally obtained, and Lordship legally or then where is the seal that it has been issued under the RTI? Lordship, the please point and answer my question. Lordship, there is no seal. I, I yes, see yes. that. So it was illegally obtained. No, Lordship, it was not illegally obtained. Fine, fine. Your certificate to yourself will not solve the problem, Mister. Either you have to explain or don't explain. Lordship, this email was under given. from under under which authority you can obtain this secret communication, which took place a better way two different persons. Lordship, this email was given to me by the bank when they in post facto verified my loan. Fine, fine. Then where is the seal that it is being given under the RTI? एक चपासी से जाके वहाँ से निकलवा लेंगे चोरी से तो क्या उसको आप legal कर देंगे? 
Lordship may kindly. Which provision of the law this was supplied to you? Please clarify and don't give a conclusion for it to you, sir. Lordship. It was not under RTI, right? 52, not under RTI. Lordship may kindly see the reply to the notice in which they say that they have they uh, that in which they, it will be clear that it was provided to me by the bank legally. Don't don't jump to any conclusion. It is my jurisdiction. Right? Yes, Lord. आप जो जो कागज मुझे बोल रहे हो मैं वो देख रहा हूँ। Yes, Lord Chief, may kindly then see the second rejection letter on page number seventy five. हाँ जी, an extra, an extra P eight, Lord Chief. हम्म। Lord Lord Chief, page number seventy six. जी। Lord Chief, it is the third paragraph from the bottom, starting with following. हम्म। Lordship, it reads, the initial decision made to refuse your application, you applied for administrative review of it, providing a new loan letter from the bank dated so and so. Sir, along with this letter, I was given a copy of the email. And you are reading from which? Lordship, page number 76. Annexure P8. Yes, sir. In support of your application, you have provided a loan letter from Union Bank dated 6th June 23. This was sent for verification and this document was found to be not genuine. Right? Yes. It was duly verified. This has been confirmed in a document verification report held by this office. Pahla, aapne a forged document lagaya. Now this is admitted position. No lordship, it is Master, not admitted. Lord Bishop, Lord Bishop, there stands it is Master, not admitted. Master, you are too young to give a conclusion and certificate to yourself. This is a finding given by the UK agency that the document which was submitted by you was not found to be a genuine one. You may say whatever you want. But the words are very clear that you made an attempt to play a fraud on the UK embassy. Number two. Now, following the initial decision made to refuse your application, you applied for an administrative review of it, providing a new loan letter from Union Bank of India and, in, and an uh, email from Union Bank confirming the account is genuine. Taking this, taking this into consideration, the outcome of the administrative was to return your application to the case working team for reconsideration and further investigation. Yes, Lordship. Jay. Lordship, the next paragraph is relevant. Yes, because it was not replied. Then what happened thereafter? So, Lordship, because the respondents did not reply. Then it was again, also rejected. Then it was again rejected. And Lordship, they have confirmed that my loan letter is genuine in their reply. No, it is not my self-certification. It is in their reply. Whatever, it is, whatever it is. Whatever it is. Now, please, please proceed further. Yes, Lordship. So, Lordship, in the second attempt, when another verification attempt was made, much like the first attempt, no response was received from Union Bank of India on this aspect. And that is why my first administrative review has failed. Agreed by that, Lordship, I have filed for a second administrative review. And at the same time, I issued a legal notice to the bank stating that please comply and please support my document because it is genuine, it is issued by you, it bears the seal and sign of your authority. Lordship, to this, the reply may be relevant to be seen. Reply uh, to your show cause notice. Uh, reply to my legal notice, Lordship. Ah, show cause notice. Yes, Lordship. It is annexure P11, page number 91. Fine, fine. Convince, convince the UK embassy. Lordship, we have... The UK Lordship, it is... It is if it, it is a communication between you and the bank and you are satisfied with that, convince the UK embassy. Lordship, I am not satisfied with the reply, which is why I filed this writ petition. Because in the writ petition, they admit that uh, there was there was some they, they don't admit that there was a delay in their part but they say that we have confirmed it at a later date which is not relevant for the uk authority it is given in para paragraph 2 of their reply which is on page number 91 hmm. it says response to ukvi confirmation mail which is the mail of 7th august we do not accept your claim stating that your client's visa application was rejected only due to lack of verification of loan sanction letter Union Bank has always maintained a protocol of timely and accurate communication. We confirm that we did respond 
to UKVI's confirmation mail con con concerning the genuineness of education loan sanction letter within reasonable time frame. Lordship, my argument is that the time frame which they are considering reasonable is not reasonable because that has led to rejection of my application on two occasions. Lordship, the mail was sent to them on seven. If they choose to keep, if they choose to keep sleeping on that and don't reply it on it in time. Then UKVI misconstrued and reached out to the wrong branch. That is a separate cause of action. But Lordship, the primary responsibility is of the dispersing branch to verify the uh, sanctity of my loan letter, which they have only duly, uh, 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 duly uh, executed in my favor. And Lordship, they are confirming this that we have confirmed your loan letter. It is not that I have submitted any false now, loan there letter. There are two documents. One say it was not received. Another say we had sent. You are blaming only one. What about the second? Lordship, uh, there are two documents. One issued by UK Embassy that it was not sent. Another Lord, issued by Union Bank of India it was sent. You have not implemented UK Embassy. Lordship, I will implete UK Embassy no, if that no, is the case. Yeah, yeah. Uh, kya aapko? No Lordship. Why should I teach you? No Lordship, certainly not. Why but, should I teach you? But Lordship, the plight of the petitioner... Whatever the plight of the petitioner may be, first of all, the lawyer is responsible for improper filing of the red petition. Don't put a burden on the court. Lordship, but... Once, once the Union Bank of India is disputing these reasons assigned by the UK Embassy, if you could not understand that the presence of UK Embassy would also be necessary, then for uh, for the plight of the client only you are responsible, not nobody else. Lordship, but whatever it may be, sir. Lordship, for the second time, you UK Embassy is not responsible as clear from the rejection letter. Aapko vakalat karni hai, judge nahi banna hai. Lordship, it is right? there in the reject second rejection you are, letter. You too early you are becoming becoming a judge. Lordship, may kindly consider this one argument. Thank you enough. Lordship, but the second time it is clear. Ah, this was reasons, a detail order would reasons would follow. Shall we? Lordship, may please consider just one argument. Lordship, the second time it is because of their laxity. Yes, okay. And at the first instance also, Lordship, they did not reply don't in time. Switch, uh, switch off my mic. Lordship, Lordship. Don't compel me to switch off my mic. This is not correct. This is not correct. On first occasion, UK Embassy had specifically rejected that you have relied upon a false document. On second uh, occasion, you filed a fresh loan of the uh, sanction order. They say, that it, the verification was not received. UBI, UBI said it was sent. Now, when there is a conflict of factual aspect, which is being claimed by two different authorities, why you did not implete UK embassy? Lordship. Whatever it is, Lordship. answer my query. Lordship, I concede that point. Concede now, but fine. Lordship, kindly allow me to amend no, the petition. Lordship, I... I Lordship, please. Otherwise, I will switch off the mic, sir. Lordship, kindly allow me to... Yeah, please, call the other case. Lordship, kindly case. allow me to amend the memo of oh, parties. Yeah. Really, this is unfortunate. You knew this fact that there is a conflict of opinion between the UK Embassy and the Union Bank of India. Lordship, that... What? That conflict is also because I'm of all the inaction. Lordship. I am going to direct a criminal prosecution of the petitioner because on first attempt you had filed a false document before the UK Embassy. Lordship, then kindly may I permit to withdraw the petition, Lordship, because you have not, you have not tried to claim that the first rejection was on incorrect facts. Lordship, rejection. Yes, just a, just listen to me. You have you have speak, spoken a lot, right? Your first application was rejected that you have relied upon a false document. Is that not a criminal act? You have not disputed this fact. You did not allege that your reasons are incorrect. On the contrary, you filed a review along with a fresh sanction order. Lordship, that is wrongly referred to as a fresh sanction order. That is just an email confirming the That's validity. May Lordship, may, may permit me to provide that letter. My Lordship, may permit me to provide that My letter. You are not feeling bad that you did not do justice to your client. When you are criticizing the UK Embassy, you are disputing the different the stand taken by UK Embassy, you are confronting the UK Embassy with Union Bank of India, whereas Union Bank of India is confronting UK by their reply, you, are, you have decided not to implead UK Embassy as a party. 
ओके सर सॉरी सर सॉरी सर प्लीज हाँ आपके पास कंफ्यूजन है इफ द लॉयर्स आर कंफ्यूज देन व्हाट्स द लिटिगेंस एप्लीकेशन On 18/7/2023, you provided a loan letter from Union Bank of India. After official verification inquiries, this document has been proven to be falsified or altered. Yes, this is sufficient for directing a criminal prosecution. Whatever it is. Who, who, uh, who contacted the wrong branch? 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 Who who contacted? Who contacted the wrong branch? Mr. Counsel, please reply to my query. Lordship, the UK VI contacted. The Why you did not implead him? Lordship, but that is after Union Bank did not reply. Ah, uh, Patak sir. Patak sir. No, why should I? Lordship, because Lordship. Why should I? He has a valid loan letter in his. Why should I? Why should I? अरे यार उसकी प्लाइट है यार अभी तो आप भाषण दे रहे थे आप लोग भाषण बहुत देते हैं वॉट एवर इट मे बी अल्टीमेटली इट इज फॉल्ट दैट द लेटर वॉज फॉल्सिफाइड और ऑल्टर आर यू नॉट सपोज टू फेस दिक्वेंसिस Don't worry, don't worry. The police. Why you are afraid of the verification by the police? Why you are afraid of the? Why you are afraid of the verification by the police? Not afraid, but then then don't withdraw. Don't withdraw, please. But for no mistake of his, he will be harassed by the police. Don't withdraw, please. Don't. Don't withdraw, please. Don't withdraw your petition. एक तरफ आप यूके एम्बेसी को कह रहे हैं कि वो गलत जगह से इंफॉर्मेशन लेते हैं दूसरे तरफ आप यूके एम्बेसी को पार्टी नहीं बनाते हैं सेकेंड अटेम्प्ट पे यूबीआई कहती हमने सब इंफॉर्मेशन भेज दी यूके एम्बेसी कहती हमने कुछ नहीं मिला है यूके एम्बेसी को आप पार्टी नहीं बनाते हैं एंड यू आर आर डूंग मैटर अरे सॉरी 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 आई विल नॉट अलाउ यू टू विदड्रॉ अच्छा ओके मेक अटेटमेंट आर यू वॉट डू यू वॉन्ट एन ऑर्डर ऑन मेरिट्स टू जीरो फोर फाइव थ्री ऑफ लेक ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर अभी तक आपको समझ में नहीं आ रहा है कि नेसेसरी पार्टी क्या होती है मेनी इयर्स ऑफ प्रैक्टिस है एटीट्यूड दिस इज दूड इट इज रियली अनफॉर्चुनेट आपको नेसेसरी पार्टी क्या होती है फॉर्मल पार्टी क्या होती है जिसको आप क्रिटिसाइज कर रहे हो वेदर अ पर्सन ऑफ दार्टी कैन इंस्टीट्यूशन कैन बी क्रिटिसाइज विदाउट हियरिंग गिविंग एन अपॉर्चुनिटी ऑफ हियरिंग व्हाट इज द बेसिक लॉ नो फॉरगेट द फैक्ट्स ऑफ दिस केस डोंट फॉरगेट फॉरगेट अबाउट द फैक्ट्स ऑफ दिस केस एंड व्हाट वी डिसाइडिंग यू गिव फाइन थैंक यू सर 20453 ऑब्लिक 2024 आफ्टर आर्गुइंग द मैटर एट लेंथ एंड फेसिंग विद द सिचुएशन Uh, where the uh, UK embassy had rejected the first application of the petitioner for visa on the ground that he had uh, provided false document from uh, the consul for the petitioner seeks permission of this court to withdraw this petition. It is accordingly dismissed as withdrawn. Item number one hundred fifteen. Reply to the petitioner.